did you feed Harper anything that had not been provided to you by her parents that day? No. That was former Rutland daycare provider Stacy Valencourt testifying in her own defense this afternoon. She's accused of killing a baby in her care back in January of 2019. Thanks for joining us at 4. I'm Liz Streppa. And I'm Stuart Ledbetter. Jack Thurston has the night off. This high-profile manslaughter case is tonight in the hands of the jury. The judge sent the case to jurors this afternoon. And to recap, Stacy Valencourt is facing manslaughter and child cruelty charges for allegedly killing six-month-old Harper Breyer on January 24th, 2019. The chief medical examiner says Breyer's cause of death was intoxication from diphenhydramine, which is a common ingredient in the over-the-counter medication Benadryl. Investigators found no evidence of any Benadryl or medication containing diphenhydramine at Valencourt daycare or on the day Breyer died. So a busy day in the courtroom in Rutland as the defense rested. They uh, did call two witnesses to the stand, including Valancourt, as you saw. NBC5's Brian Colloran joins us now live in the newsroom with more on her testimony. Brian. Hi, Stu. Certainly a uh, busy Friday in the Rutland County courtroom today as the former daycare provider maintained her innocence on the witness stand. She was asked about the events leading up to the six-month-old being found unresponsive that January day in 2019 and says the baby was fed bottles of soy formula provided by her parents that day. Valancourt says she never gave the baby any medicine containing diphenhydramine and maintained her innocence today on the witness stand. Did you keep diphenhydramine in your house at the end of 2018 into 2018? No. By extension, uh, did you give anything containing diphenhydramine to uh, Harper Breyer while she was at your daycare? No. This afternoon, the jury was given instructions. It's now in their hands to decide the fate of Stacey Valancourt. If convicted, she could face up to 25 years in prison.